Schumacher hasn't been seen in public since his skiing accident in 2013, and his family has been careful about keeping his personal life private. A Netflix documentary from 2021 shows he's living at home with his family, but his current health condition is still kept under wraps. Despite this, his life remains one of drama and intrigue, and an interview by journalist and a close friend of Schumacher, Roger Benoit, has brought the spotlight back on Michael. Want to know what we mean? Stick around. One of Michael Schumacher's close friends has suggested that he should be deprived of one of his world championships. Veteran journalist Roger Benoit has ignited a firestorm within the F1 community and around the world with his recent suggestion that racing legend Michael Schumacher should be stripped of his 1994 Formula 1 world championship. This shocking proposal has raised eyebrows and sparked intense debates about the iconic racer's career and legacy. The crux of the controversy lies in the events of the 1994 Formula 1 season. Schumacher was racing for the Benetton team, and his fierce competitor for the championship was Damon Hill of the Williams team. The 1991 Formula 1 season not only saw the intense rivalry between Michael Schumacher and the Brazilian legend Ayrton Senna, but also a tragic turning point that shook the racing world to its core. Senna's life was tragically cut short in a devastating accident at the Tamburello Corner during the Emilia Romana Grand Prix, leaving the entire racing community in shock and mourning. Senna's funeral was a somber affair, with a host of active Formula One drivers serving as pallbearers to bid farewell to the beloved Brazilian icon. However, one notable absence was Michael Schumacher, who did not attend the funeral. Benoit, despite being a journalist embedded in the Formula One paddock, shared a unique and close friendship with Schumacher. The two would often unwind together, sharing cigars and beers in the motorhome after races. This camaraderie allowed Benoit to gain deep insights into the intricacies of Schumacher's complex personality, insights that set their friendship apart from the typical journalist-driver dynamic in the Formula One world. The pivotal moment between Hill and Schumacher occurred during the final race of the season, the Australian Grand Prix. With the championship on the line, Schumacher and Hill found themselves in a critical showdown. However, it was not the thrilling race that fans remember, but a controversial incident that has echoed through the annals of Formula 1 history. In that decisive moment, Schumacher's actions were deemed highly contentious. The collision between the two drivers raised questions about sportsmanship and ethics in Formula 1. Some argued that Schumacher's maneuvers were intentional and unsportsmanlike, while others saw it as a desperate move in the heat of a title battle. Despite the controversy surrounding the incident, Schumacher was ultimately declared the 1994 Formula 1 world champion. The incident left a lasting impact on the sport and ignited debates and discussions among fans, pundits, and fellow drivers. The controversy surrounding Roger Benoit's suggestion to strip Michael Schumacher of his 1994 Formula 1 world championship has opened a Pandora's box of discussions about sportsmanship, ethics, and the legacy of an iconic racer. Many in the Formula 1 community disagree with Benoit, while Schumacher's victory in 1994 was indeed contentious, taking away a title nearly 30 years after the fact would undermine the integrity of the sport. Similar debates have arisen in other cases, such as Felipe Massa's pursuit of the 2008 title. In both Schumacher and Massa's cases, the championships were ultimately decided over the course of an entire season, rather than a single race. While controversies may arise during individual races, the overall performance throughout the season is what determines the championship. Schumacher has always maintained his innocence regarding any wrongdoing in the 1994 race, and the FIA's investigations at the time did not lead to any title revocation. Despite Benoit's opinion regarding the stripping of a title, he recently commented on Schumacher's condition, describing the Ferrari legend as a case without hope. When asked for an update on Schumacher's condition, he responded with a resounding no. Benoit pointed to a poignant statement made by Schumacher's son Mick in one of his rare interviews in 2022. I would give anything to talk to dad. This statement, according to Benoit, encapsulates the reality of Schumacher's state over the past 3,500 days, a situation devoid of hope. Close friend Johnny Herbert has reacted to this update, deeming it horrible. Herbert expressed the disheartening fact that there is consistently a lack of positive news about Schumacher's condition. He conveyed the sadness of not being able to witness the Michael Schumacher that everyone fondly remembers, highlighting the somberness of the situation. Even though he's not physically around at the moment, 
His spirit is endlessly evident on track and just off. After his victory at the Singapore Grand Prix on Sunday, Carlos Sainz Jr. received acclaim from Formula 1 enthusiasts for what seemed like a homage to Michael Schumacher. The Ferrari standout triumphed over Lando Norris and Lewis Hamilton, thereby dethroning Red Bull's season-long supremacy in Formula 1. Following his triumph, Sainz Jr. proceeded to honor Schumacher while on the podium. The 29-year-old extended his fingers into the air, as if orchestrating music, and then raised his fist in tribute. This gesture, reminiscent of Schumacher's era with Ferrari during its 10-year stint from 1996 to 2006, has also been emulated by Sebastian Vettel, who formerly raced for Ferrari from 2015 to 2020. In a recent discussion comparing Lewis Hamilton to the greatest of all time in Formula 1, an F1 champion made some critical remarks about Michael Schumacher. With a combined total of 14 Formula 1 championships between them, Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher sparked ongoing debates about who is the greater driver. Jody Schechter, the 1979 Formula 1 champion, recently shared his perspective on the matter, favoring Lewis Hamilton and highlighting his conduct on and off the track. Both Hamilton and Schumacher have each secured seven world championship titles, a shared record at the pinnacle of Formula 1 history. Schechter acknowledged the accomplishments of both drivers, but leaned slightly towards Hamilton due to his behavior behind the wheel. He described Hamilton as a cleaner and more gentlemanly driver in terms of tactics, contrasting this with Schumacher's approach. Schechter commended Hamilton for his sportsmanship, stating, I put them all in the same category. You know, there's the car there. I think Lewis was a cleaner driver than Schumacher. In his tactics and stuff, he was more like a gentleman on the track than Schumacher was, so I commend him for that. Despite speculation about Hamilton potentially retiring in the near future, he chose to extend his career by signing a new contract with Mercedes. Schechter expressed admiration for the 38-year-old's decision to continue racing, emphasizing that even if some people may forget his achievements over time, his numerous world championships solidify his status as an all-time great in Formula 1. Schechter also noticed that some athletes continue competing to preserve their legacy until it's too late, and people may overlook their earlier accomplishments. Schumacher continues to enjoy immense popularity among his fans. This was clearly evident at an auction held at Sotheby's Auction House in California, where a total of 159 Schumacher-related items were sold for an impressive sum of over 2 million euros. The auction, named Full Throttle The Schumacher Collection, featured a wide range of memorabilia, including helmets, racing suits, autographed t-shirts, caps, and even champagne bottles. The standout item in the auction was a helmet worn by Schumacher during the 2003 Hockenheim race, personally signed by the racing legend himself. This iconic helmet, associated with his world championship victory, was particularly sought after and fetched an astounding €112,000 on its own. How do you feel about the Ferrari GOAT? Let us know in the comments.